So they asked me, why are you so frustrated? Why are you so angry? You really want to know why? Do you understand why? The black man, the soul brother and sister in this nation, do you realize that next to the white man, the Caucasian people of this nation, we should be this black community, the African American, the black American, the colored, the so-called Negro people. We should be easily second in power in this nation. Being that we have fought in every war since the Revolutionary War and we have paid our taxes and we have brought to this economy to make it wealthy. We should be the second greatest influence. We should be the greatest power next to those who, as they say, the dominant society. We should be second. So when we speak, they listen. We speak, they might listen, they might not listen, who cares? This is not, for me, acceptable. My ancestors, our people been here going on 500 years. Our leadership has failed us. Our mindset has failed us. The strategy that we have used continues to fail us. This is not acceptable. So in 2018, we bring to the masses something we call Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. Why does the Mississippi Campaign need to come into existence? Why is there and Angel Snup Nup 7. Why is there a realities temple on earth? It is because we continue to think like we still live in the past, continue to do what we've done in the past, and these beliefs and these activities where have they put us and it is 2022 a group of people in this nation been here for 500 years and you're still a fifth class citizen sixth class citizen you have people coming straight off the boat and they begin to progress and begin to move better than we. And we've been in this nation 
born in this nation 500 years. So we say and present to you Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. And these make no effort to really think about what it is, the plan, the vision, the goal. They automatically, <laughs> that ain't new. We already been doing it. Since 1968. Since 1868. We already been doing that Mississippi campaign stuff. So where is your state that you control? If we were doing it already. Then how come we don't have it and you're still talking about we need to get it you don't control a neighborhood you don't even control a neighborhood you, con you don't control a town or a city and clearly you don't control a state so you have those who get angry with me. That's a good idea. But we don't want to follow you. It's not about following anybody. It's about finding your place. And we understand what we need to do. So that we can accomplish this mission. Even so. If it makes you happy. If it make you happy, I'll be happy to step out of it and shut the hell up. Do it. Take control of a state. Mississippi, Alabama, New York, Hawaii, whatever you want to do. Do it. If you could do it, it would have been done before Angel Snup Nup 7 was even born. If that was your mindset. If that's what you want to do. This is what I don't understand. Well, I do understand. Here we are. We love basketball. So I'm going to use basketball because we, we like basketball. And you get your basketball team. And every year, y'all lose. Now, in the beginning, you, of course, you, you, it's a new team. We're trying to find ourselves, get, get ourselves together. So in the beginning, people are going to, hey, okay, this is new. But as time goes on, and y'all keep losing, then people start looking at the coach. Hey, man. We've been playing basketball for five years. We ain't, we ain't close to getting, we're not winning no games. Definitely no championships. Hey, what's up? Then you start looking at the players. That, that cat, he can't really play that well. You, you start judging. Has nothing to do with jealousy. Has nothing to do with hate. It's a team. You're playing basketball. 
The goal is to win games. The goal is to win championships. Something is wrong. This man don't know how to coach. Or the players don't know how to play. Or there's something the owner is doing of the team. You're not going to sit back and keep losing and not try to figure out why are we losing. We might like Coach Robinson, but Coach Robinson, his strategy, his techniques is not causing us to win games. I like you, Coach Robinson. You're a good guy. But we're going to have to bring in somebody else because we want to win games. See, that's what we have to understand. It's not about hating somebody. Jealous of somebody It's about winning It's about getting the job done And the current players In this thing that we call Liberation or struggle They're not Getting the job Done Even in the NBA If a coach is not or the or the football league. It's, it's football season. If that coach, if those players, if the player cannot get it done, they will swap him out. They will fire that player. You can't play no ball. You got to get out of here. It's about winning championships. It's about winning because you are in love with Pan Africanism. Because you are in, in love with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Because you are in love with Reverend Mudflap or, or Barack Obama. Whoever you're in love with. That's fine to like them. But the ultimate goal is to change the condition of a people. To put us in the position where we should have been a long time ago. And that position should be number two. In this nation. If not number one. But definitely. Number two. You should not have. Foreigners. Immigrants. Coming to this nation. Looking at us. Like we are trash. And garbage. Mm. They respect the white people in this, in this nation because of their influence, because of their power. And because you have to go to them to get something. And that's the way those who come here should look at us. You don't have to like us, but you're going to respect me because in order to get anything here, you got to come through me. In order for us to win a game, you have to learn from your mistakes. Okay, we lost because, and you look over things, and you learn from your mistakes. So the ultimate goal is to win. You don't want to win. Malcolm X, the Black Panther Party. We honor them and respect them. They did not win. We learn from their mistakes. Their strategy did not work. Their mindset did not work. You have to change in order to win. Those who do not change, they never win. And that's what it's about. You have to change. And that's why it's so frustrating. Because you act like you don't want to win 